Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, evaluate the following definite integral as limit of sums. 7 is integral x square plus x into dx and the integral goes from 1 to 2. That is the lower limit of integration is 1 and upper limit is 2. Now by the definition of limit of sum, an integral fx dx from a to b is defined by b minus a limit as n goes to infinity 1 upon n value of the function at the point a plus h plus a plus 2h the value of the function plus so on up to f at the point a plus n h well h is equal to b minus a upon n and as n goes to infinity h goes to 0. So this is the key idea we shall be using in this problem to evaluate the given definite integral. Let us now start with the solution. Now on comparing integral fx dx from a to b with integral x plus x square dx from 1 to 2 we find here that fx is equal to x square plus x a which is the lower limit of integration is 1 and b the upper limit of integration is 2 so h is equal to b minus a upon n is equal to 2 minus 1 upon n which is equal to 1 by n so by the formula of limit of a sum we have integral 1 to 2 x square plus x into dx is equal to b minus a that is 2 minus 1 into limit as n approaches to infinity 1 upon n first we have value of the function at the point a plus h and this is equal to a plus h whole square plus a plus h so this is the value of the function at the point a plus h then the value of the function at the point a plus 2h is given by a plus 2h whole square plus a plus 2h and similarly the value of the function at the point a plus nh is a plus nh whole square plus a plus nh now this is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have limit as n approaches to infinity 1 by n now opening the brackets first we have a square plus h square plus 2h plus a plus h plus from here we have a square plus 2 square h square plus 4h which we get on expanding a plus 2h whole square plus a plus 2h plus so on up to on expanding a plus nh whole square we get a square plus n square h square plus 2 n a h plus a plus n h now this is further equal to lemon as n approaches to infinity 1 by n now a square is n times plus a is also n times plus now taking 2h common we have inside the bracket 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n plus then taking h common inside the bracket we have 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n plus lastly taking h square common we have 1 square plus 2 square 
plus so on and from the last term we have n square equals to limit as n approaches to infinity 1 by n n times of a square plus n times of a plus 2ah inside the bracket we have 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n plus h into 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n plus h square into 1 square plus 2 square plus so on up to n square. Now, summation n that is 1 plus 2 plus up to n is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2 and summation n is square that is 1 is square plus 2 is square plus so on up to n is square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. Now, using this here we get this is further equal to limit as n approaches to infinity 1 upon n n a square plus n a plus 2 a h now sum of 1 plus 2 up to n is given by n into n plus 1 upon 2 plus h again the sum of 1 plus 2 up to n is given by n into n plus 1 upon 2 then we have plus h square 1 square plus 2 square plus up to n square and its sum is given by n into n plus 1. Sorry, here we have n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. Now taking 1 by n inside the bracket we get limit as n approaches to infinity a square plus a plus 2ah upon n into n into n plus 1 upon 2 plus here also we have h upon n into n into n plus 1 upon 2 plus h square upon n into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So this n cancels out with this 2 with 2. Here also n with n and here also n with n. So we further have limit as n approaches to infinity a square plus a plus ah into n plus 1 plus h into n plus 1 upon 2 plus h square n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. We know that the lower limit of integration is 1, upper limit of integration is 2 in this problem and h is 1 upon n. So this limit can further be written as limit n approaches to infinity a square is 1 square that is 1 plus a a is 1 plus a is 1 and h is 1 upon n so we get 1 by n into n plus 1 plus from here we have 1 upon 2n into n plus 1 plus this can be written as 1 upon n square into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6 equals to limit as n approaches to infinity from here we have 2 plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 upon 6n square and here we have 2n square plus n plus 2n plus 1 And this is further equal to limit as n approaches to infinity 3 
plus 1 by n plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2n. Now simplifying this, first we get 1 upon 3. n plus 2n is 3n and 3n upon 6n is square is Let us write it like that. And here we have 1 upon 6 n square. This is further equal to limit. As n approaches to infinity, 3 plus 1 by n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 upon 3 plus n cancels out with n. 3 2s are 6. So we have 1 upon 2n plus 1 upon 6 n square. Now, limit as n tends to infinity. This term is 0. This is also 0. This is also 0. And this is also 0. So we have 3 plus half plus 1 upon 3. And LCM is 6. And in the numerator we have 23, which we get on simplifying. Thus, on evaluating the given definite integral, we get our answer as 23 upon 6. So, this completes the session. Hope you have learned it. Bye and take care.